Hey y'all, it's Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. Today's video is part of the Sippin' and Chillin' DIY Challenge video that's hosted by Megan from The Crafty Quinn and Andrea from Andrea Peacock DIY. Those links to their channels and the entire playlist is gonna be in the description box below. So I hope you check them out. Check them out after you watch my video. The challenge was to create at least two DIYs that reminded you of summer drinks, such as lemonade, iced tea, and I went to pineapple juice. I was thinking pineapple juice, toss a little rum in there, you know what I'm saying? And so that's what I thought of. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I was trying to think, what pineapples, what can I make? I mean, I know there's crafts with pineapples, but you know what I'm saying. So I came across these napkins, these napkins, and this napkin. And so I'm creating crafts out of Dollar Tree napkins and some other stuff too. I had this little sign from a previous project. I was painting it white and then gonna put the three lines, the little design I was doing in pink didn't work out. So I ended up painting it all pink instead. Now I'm going in and I'm gonna be drawing on some lines with a white paint pen and just kind of mimicking what I was trying to do before that didn't work out. I'm gonna just try to do it by hand now instead of trying to do that reverse stencil. And here I'm just using a ruler to kind of keep the lines straight as possible. You guys know that I'm not super fussy about things being perfect, but I do like it to be kind of straight. Now I'm just going across with those lines and I'm wiping off that ruler in between so it doesn't smear it or hopefully doesn't smear it. Now you see I have three lines going up and down, three lines going across and I'm just going ahead and using my little uh, heat gun to dry it because I'm going to be gluing this pineapple here in the corner. And I glued it at an angle just because I thought that made it look cute. And then I needed a little Jenga block to help it be a stand so that it could stand up on its own. And that's how it turned out. For this project, I'm just using this napkin and I've cut out the pineapples and I cut out one that says more summer please and I'm gonna be making a garland with it. And of course, I'm using jute twine, so Captain's very interested. And I'm just going through and kind of, it's kind of like a Mexican garland, you know, where they take that thin tissue paper and cut out the designs. Anyway, same kind of concept because the napkin, of course, is like tissue paper. And I'm just going in and gluing all of them down. It's really simple, super easy peasy. And that's how it turned out. I just took this pink and white striped napkin and this wood piece in the shape of a pineapple, painted the top green, and now I'm just going to Mod Podge the pink napkin onto the pineapple. Now I did use several layers. That hole is because this was one of those things that had the little light in it at, at Dollar Tree. I didn't use it. Anyway, I'm using it for this. And so I'm just kind of cutting it around. I'm doing several layers because I just thought it looked better with several layers. This project was again, another one that I had started to do something else with it. Didn't like how it was turning out. So I just used the pink that I've been using for the other projects and I'm painting the inside pink. Now I'm going to take my green that I've been using for the other projects and I'm going to paint the top of the frame, not the whole frame, but anyway, the top of the frame, that green color. I'm going to glue down this pineapple. Again, this is just from a napkin and I'm gluing it down. Yeah, it looks a little crooked, but I fixed it in a little bit. For this fifth and final project, this little house is from the Dollar Tree and I had to take off those little flowers, used my heat gun to do it. It's not that hard, but you do, you gotta kinda work with it a little bit and I sanded 
to make sure it was smooth. Now these two pieces of paper are craft paper are from Hobby Lobby. Of course I got them on sale and I'm just gluing them down with the glue stick that I got at the Dollar Tree and sanding the edges so that those are not hanging over and they're just flush. And I was going to try to, I don't know, I was going to put some twine, decided the twine didn't look right. And then I just ended up leaving it like this. Now I did make this a double-sided sign because in my bathroom I use pineapples as part of my decor. So this is where this will probably live. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate, and thank you Captain for joining me today. I really do appreciate you um, letting me share my DIYs. My pineapple, see he's distracted me now. My pineapple inspired DIYs. And if you create something pineapple inspired, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.